the ants underground kingdom and other ants for me to discuss. Noma Mermex Essenbeckii Kingdom, Animalia Phylum, Arthropoda class, Insecta order, Hymenoptera family, Formicidae subfamily, Dorolinae genus, Noma Mermex species, N. Essenbeckii identification Watkins 1977 N. Essenbecki. Workers, Postoxipetal sulcus distinct, dorsum of petiole with longitudinal regae. Males, median border of head behind ocellar peduncle with a narrow lamella, first gastric tergite usually with longitudinal regae, width of, blade of stapes about one half its length, volsula blunt, gradually tapered or snout shaped. N. Essenbecki S. Street, workers, transversely keeled posterior margin of mesonotum usually straight or slightly convex in the middle, anterior corners of postpetiole prominent and abruptly rounded causing the postpetiole to appear subquadrate with an anterior face as broad or broader than the petiole, entire body usually dark reddish brown with gaster sometimes slightly lighter. The mesonotal keel is occasionally slightly concave, but usually not in all specimens in a series. The posterior edge of the propodium is often only slightly indented between the propodial teeth, but a few specimens may be deeply indented dorsal view. Males. Set eye on fifth gastric tergite broadly separated along the midline, i.e., the separation is about one half the width of the tergite near its base, distal portion of volsula distinctly snout-shaped, but that snout varies somewhat in detail. N. Essenbecki crassicornis. Workers. Transversely keeled posterior margin of mesonotum usually straight or slightly convex in the middle, anterior corners of the postpetiole not prominent with the sides gradually curving inward to the anterior face which is slightly narrower than the petiole causing the postpetiole to appear trapezoidal, gaster usually yellowish-brown, remainder of body reddish-brown. A few workers from Panama have slightly concave mesonotal keels, however, these workers have postpetioles and yellowish-brown gasters typical for crassicornis. Males. Set eye on fifth gastric tergite not distinctly separated along the midline, longitudinal regae distinct on the second gastric tergite, apex of volsula slightly enlarged and rounded. The entire posterior half of the fifth tergite is usually covered with long thick set eye. However, some specimens from Panama have the set eye along the midline more confined to the posterior border and these set eye are shorter than the more lateral set eye. The distal portion of the volsula is slightly upturned with a gradually rounded apex in specimens from Panama, almost straight with a bluntly rounded apex in specimens from Trinidad, and somewhat more downturned in specimens from Peru. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Hit the notification to be updated for another upload video. Goodbye take care.